What are the differences between all these bushes? Are they paid to win? Can they cause more harm than good? I'd like to share my testing results. Hello tankers! First, let's shed some light on basics before diving into actual test. In War Thunder, camouflage can be found in Vehicles Customization tab. First is the painting of the tank. That is not what this video is about. This video is about camouflage in decorators window. Obviously, the fastest way to get the bushes, buy them for 500 golden eagles. That's what I did for this one bush. How did I get the rest? Well, that's one of the best things tanker can buy in Warband shop. Yes, it's slow, you can only get one random bush a month, but nevertheless, 22 battle tasks and 3 medals per month is something that average player generates every time without effort. And since warbonds don't disappear, you can take as much time as you need. So, what is the difference between all these bushes? First, we can group them to foliage tree, palm leaves, fir branches, birch branches, and dry bushes. Now, I cannot guarantee, but based on the groups of camouflage that I already collected, I assume that items in each group has the same properties, just different shape. There are three main properties. Bush disappearance over distance, camouflages adaptation to each map's climate and volume. Let's start from the main criteria you should look at. There is a specific distance for all bushes where they significantly decrease in quality and it depends on your zoom level as well. This is best shown with an example. When you get away from vehicle, bush quality decreases. If zoomed in with gunner sight, you can see full quality again. When you get far enough with gun sight, quality decreases and if you zoom in more with binoculars, it's restored to previous level. But what bushes suffer the most? I've put different kinds of bush and made a test in high and minimum game settings. Results were the same. At about 50 to 100 meters, there is a huge drop of quality and with range it smoothly decreases until some bushes become completely invisible. Look at another example on white background. I've added dry bush, fir branch and birch branches together here. Foliage tree with palm leaves are single. When zoomed out far enough, all three bushes disappear while foliage tree and palm leaves are still recognizable. This is the main thing you should care about when buying bushes. If camouflage is invisible, all other criteria do not make any sense. Another criteria, different looks on snowy and dusty maps. With snow it's really simple, tanks and bushes have some snow on them as soon as battle starts. Whitest foliage tree, others slightly whiter or no change at all. A little bit more complicated in desert maps. Both tanks and bushes start with default colors and then become dusty over time. Let's look at this T95 from start of a battle. It will take about 20 minutes. Ok, let's speed it up. Obviously, fir branches and dry bushes are the most dusty, foliage tree and palm leaves adapted quite well, while birch branches are still green. And third criteria is volume. The only bush that is not flat is foliage tree. It can be used in situations where you want to hide a weak spot with an exposed from surface part, like machine gun. Foliage tree and then palm leaves should be your priority bushes when masking your tank. But everything you have left only after these are used. How not to use? Very rarely, bushes can do more harm than help. This is a simulator battle's specific tip. Do not put bushes too high. 
that will block your commander's view and do not block optics that gunner uses. Best is to try your camouflage in test drive before joining simulator. So how to use them? First of all, don't count on hiding in a plain field. It's not a magic button making you invisible. Instead, it helps you with small things. In game modes without markers, bushes can be used to make it harder to identify tank. When enemy notices you, he is not sure what armor he is trying to penetrate. Is it thick? Is it angled? His first shot is likely to be ineffective. But the main usage of camouflage in all game modes is hiding your weak spots. It's much harder to shoot something you cannot see, even in arcade battles. Let's take few examples of popular tanks with different types of weak spots. First is an American Rank 3 Heavy Tank Jumbo. Two armor plates, good angle and unpenetratable turret. Most same battle rating tanks struggle to penetrate its frontal armor and machine gun is weakest spot in front. First we want to hide it with high volume bush, since flat one will not hide it completely. Then make silhouette a little bit off center by adding overhanging bush to just one side. Sometimes it's more effective to add a detail like helmet instead of bush. Hopefully someone will consider it's a poorly masked machine gun and will shoot opposite side. Another example when weak spots are on a turret, like cupolas or cheeks. First we want to put camo on moving part, so bushes will spin together with a turret and will stay in the same position from weak spots perspective. To deceive that turret is taller, it's good to put more non-transparent bushes higher than your tank's roof. This way enemy is expected to aim higher and overshoot. Do you think that this tiger looks wrong? Maybe you see its turret turned to your left. Is it only half tiger? The more confusing it looks, the better. Masking cheeks are very comfortable because you have a flat surface in front. Make your turret bigger towards the opposite side than gunner is. That's where you should get shot more often. And I will repeat myself, but do not expect bushes to win games for you. There are a lot of situations when it will be useless. Someone shooting at extreme distances will still shot 5 grey pixels. Someone flanking will still see your side exposed. But bushes will do your life a little bit easier. Sometimes it's that little detail that determines loss or victory. Don't forget that you are playing versus humans and that's not only a caliber and armor thickness, that's about outsmarting your opponent. Subscribe and tell me how do you outsmart your opponents in a comment section.